Hi right, guys, welcome back. It's like another day. Um, I, I don't know what part it is. I'm not sure. Eight, nine, eight, nine, eight, nine. ten, eleven. <laughs> More than five and lower than fifteen, I think. So um, we did get the Z back. We always show y'all, but we got some things on it right now that we're gonna show y'all a little bit later in the video. But we got the Z back. It looks pretty good. Um, we're gonna have to do a little bit of work. We got these two cables over here for the hood because. All right, all right, little hood hinges don't open up because on the old cable, these plastics over here are broken off, so we got new ones. We're gonna replace this. We're gonna take the bumper off and fix the hood hinges, adjust the hood, and adjust the fitment. And then um, we've got a couple of plastics to put on the car, just just little stuff to put back onto it. And uh, we did get something. We went over and picked it up from our buddy Goose Claw's house over there. All right, so what we did get was we got an arrow kit. Uh, we got it from our friends over at Goon Squad. They got a, they got two sets of them, so they gave us one. We kind of um, had a little agreement going, so we got we got a set from them. And um, honestly, we already unboxed it. We already <laughs> we already put it on the car. We didn't put it on the car. We just kind of mocked it up with tape and stuff, just to see what it looks like. But um, we're gonna do like an unboxing, like a fake unboxing or whatever, just to, <laughs> just to give y'all, just to give you guys a. Um, I don't know, just like a look of it in an unboxing video, but um, let's get right into it. What's the first thing that we're unboxing? <laughs> Bruh. What is this? We got, we got the side skirts. We got two sets of those, actually. Yeah, we got two sets of side skirts. And here we got the splitter. Right, the splitter. We have not unboxed this yet. Yeah. It's our first time. Yeah. So what is it? what is the second box over here? Got the Dude, what? What is that? What? 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 So that looks like the diffuser right there, a three piece. You go to Wendy's, you get the four for four. You go to Street Arrow, you get the three for three. Three piece, no biscuit though. <laughs> All right, what is this? Dude, what are those? <laughs> ah right, yeah so that those are the other set of side skirts right so that so that was kind of like the unboxing right mm -hmm. right and then it also came with hardware but um we do got this we got the lip on too as you can see it's like right there the lip but um i don't know if i'm gonna have to take the bumper off or the lip off just so i could pull out of the driveway because it is at, at a slope so that's not really good. We can't put we can't put the arrow kit on yet because it wouldn't pull out of the driveway without scraping and we can't put the arrow kit on yet because we still gotta I don't know if we mentioned this but the clutch kit and fly will have to get replaced so honestly I don't wanna put the arrow kit on and then pick it up and possibly damage it so that's what we're gonna do. It's probably gonna be the clutch kit and fly will next after we put all the little bits and pieces back together on the, on this car yeah. Mr. Mechanic Muscles here is going to unbox everything one more again and he's going to put all the parts where they belong so when we start putting them onto the car just to mock it up and see what it looks like again and show you guys uh we'll know yeah 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 driver's side driver's side <laughs> driver's side right Dude, this splitter is like ginormous. It'd honestly be good for like scooping up snow and stuff if we had snow here. But it could be used for other things like probably stepping on if you wanted to. Right. Oh boy. So yeah, thank you Goon Squad for giving us the second set, working something out with us. Um, really appreciate it because that 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 just like that just like that's like the spice on the chicken, you know? You know what I'm saying? Spice on the chicken. Yeah. Because it can't. Like yeah. yeah, a little. Yeah, you can't you can't have chicken without seasoning. That's just not that's just not right. That's a three piece right there. Alright, so Street Arrow, 
appreciate it too for giving it to Goon Squad and giving it to us. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, let's, let's, let's get this sucker mocked up. So we just got done mocking up the splitter. We just put it on just to test it, but we'll probably adjust it later whenever we put it on for real. We just test. Yeah, we're just mocking it up for now. We're about to go next with the side skirts. We're gonna mock up the side skirts and then the rear diffuser in the very back over there. <laughs> but um, after that, we're gonna have to take everything back off and then we're gonna put take the bumper off and we're gonna have to do the the little two little what's it called? Yeah, yeah whatever they're called. These two things right here, the latches. Oh, yeah. Got the two cables. So let's get right into it. Yes, sir. So now we just got finished with the side skirt. Just mocked it up real nice. Again, might be adjusted later on, but oh, just for now. For sure. You know what I'm saying. <laughs> All right, so the side skirt is kind of just mocked up for now. It looks pretty daggum good. Um, This is going to be the rear view of it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Nah, it look, I mean, I'd say it looks pretty good. Oh, yeah, and then if you see in the front right there. Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. So now we're going to go do the passenger side side skirt. And then we're going to do the diffuser right here in the back. But we also need to put on these uh, B pillars right here. The carbon fiber ones. <laughs> those <laughs> those got to come back on. Yeah, the carbon fibers. And um, just like a little bit of a plastics here and there, but let's, let's get into the passenger side, shall we? get adjusted you know right you gotta look at it from the back look if you look at it from the back that piece right here on the lip it like sticks out like if you go look on the go look go look on the driver's side go look on the driver's side stand in the back behind the the tire and see if you can see like the kind of the bumper sticking out yeah yeah it looks it looks pretty good dude i'm not gonna lie it looks pretty good might also paint these black. Door handles black? Or no. I mean, that look, I don't know. It kind of, it just kind of goes with the black, you know? So, I don't know. Dude, the roof is like glass. Like, come here. Come here. Like, like look, I can see a reflection, dude. Wait, wait, go back. Right there. Hold on. All right, don't move. <laughs> come back, come back, come back, come back. Like, yeah. Like, don't move. So this aero kit, as you know, Goon Squad has a Nismo front front bumper and rear bumper. So this aero kit is actually designed for a Nismo. But what we're gonna do too is we're gonna custom fab it on the here. Right here, it would look kind of good. It'd look pretty cool right here. But I'm thinking about cutting the back bumper right here. Cause either way. Tommy is going to have to be burning it because when we get it tuned, it's going to shoot flames. It's going to burn the crap out of the bottom part of the bumper. 
And I don't have anything to mount it on right here unless I make custom mounts. But if I cut it here, cut the bottom of the bumper off, there's a metal rebar that goes right here. And I could literally bolt it. I could literally bolt it to the um I could bolt it to the frame. And it wouldn't go anywhere. And it would be a little bit higher. But I'm and this bumper is already kind of damaged really crappy bumper I didn't even get it I didn't even work on it because I was gonna get a Nismo one either way but I'm probably gonna have to get a Nismo one later on in the future but what I wanted to do is just bolt this or self tap it into the frame it is gonna sit a little bit higher as you can tell other than that other than the left side and, and right side um it'll be custom and I don't think no one's ever done this yet because this is not a Nismo back bumper that I can get that tap down and that tap down and it'll be perfectly fine but this is tricky and either way I think it'll look pretty cool with the center cut out because you can you can literally see everything underneath it and it looks kind of stupid because I don't have dual exhaust anymore so I'm gonna have a big old hole here if I did try to fab it right here there just wouldn't be anything to do it by so I'm thinking about just cutting the back bumper right here and then just looking, looking to see what it looks like. The worst that's gonna happen is I'm gonna have a big hole, but that's totally fine because I've seen someone with a big hole right here and it looks pretty daggone good. Especially when they get theirs tuned and their suits flames. That's what we're probably gonna do. They're probably gonna do a um, remote tuning through admin. So either way, it's, just, it's gonna be a big hole no matter what. Because I, I was already trying to do that. So we're probably just gonna get a little saw and cut along this crack. Because this crack comes up literally up to the to the frame of the car in the back. So then we can just bolt this down. So then we want to bolt it down. It will be a little bit higher, but honestly, I don't really care. We're just gonna send it. If it's bad, either way, I'm getting another back bumper, so I don't really care about it. So I say, let's just send it. Boom. All right, so we got the arrow kit on, and we're going to have to do a little bit of custom work on the back bumper, but that's totally fine because custom work means no one's probably done it. Uh, I wouldn't mind being the first one to do it if it comes out good. <laughs> but yeah, we're going to do a little bit of custom work in the back. But as of now, we're going to give you a quick little walk around. We're going to show you guys the front. <laughs> we're going to show you all the front splitter, and then we're going to show you all the driver's side side skirt, and then we're going to show you guys the diffuser. I'm gonna show you all the passenger side side skirt and then we're gonna get pop the bumper off and try to do the cables real quick because we are in a little time time crunch so let's get right into it. So here is a is a, is a front splitter. We got a lip too. This lip is just on just just as of now, but big shout out right here. Mm -hmm. Um this is basically what it's gonna look like when we're done. When it's all stuff when it's all stuff tapped. Basically what it's gonna look like. Honestly, it kind of looks cool. I don't know, but mm -hmm. side skirt. Um, I'm gonna have to give you guys some LED lighting because, you know, it, it's gonna look. Yeah, look, it, look, it looks looks kind of coolio, you know. I like I like this right here. I was gonna dip mm -hmm. right. Okay, so that's that. Um, the back. This is definitely not made for this bumper, but. We're gonna keep one the the uh, driver's side right here. The middle piece we're gonna. I'm cutting out the, the back the back piece for here. I'm gonna make a custom bracket for this third brake light, so it'll still be there, and I can still use it because I kind of paid a lot of money for the one I got now, so I kind of want to make it look cool. So we're gonna cut this out right here, the inside, and then we're gonna put the passenger side one right there. Same same thing on the driver's side, and then. You can go ahead and show them that passenger side. So that's great. All right, and then right here we got the passenger side. Shout out to Street Arrow. Yeah. But I'm about, to, I'm about to pop off this bumper now. So we're gonna get a little bit of that. We're gonna have to remove this lip, put it back in the box, and we're gonna do another un unboxing video. <laughs> <laughs> no, but for real, yeah. All right, so we're gonna get right into the cables and get that stuff.
So I have to hook, unhook, unbolt these things right here. This hinge. Hook up the cable, and I guess I'm gonna bolt it back in. Cause I really don't feel like popping all this off. It's like a five piece. One, two, three, four. It's like five, four, three pieces. It's too much pieces to unbolt. So I'm just gonna unbolt these. These two right here. Mm. Alright, I'm gonna do That's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna give me a dagger and impact, dude. Some fast here, just zip it off. Right here, I'm just messing around with it too much. Oops. Okay. So. What is up, guys? No, I'm just kidding. All right, so okay, so today we're actually gonna um we're gonna cut the bumper. We got the uh, grinder, so we're gonna cut right here along this crack right here. Cause either way, this would get melted by the. I can already feel a melting point right here from the tomate, and I yep, right here I can feel it. So we're just gonna cut this whole piece right here. So tomate won't burn it. Period. Then I, I want to make a really cool bracket for this brake light, but we got uh. We got this one right here. It's like the uh, square one with the LED or whatever you want to call it. The cool one. But um, we got that. We're going to have to make a custom bracket for this to look uh, pretty cool right there. But we're, get, we're, cu we're cutting this off for this diffuser piece right here because Zero K is made for the Nismo front and back bumper. But we obviously cannot afford a Nismo. So we're going to make our own Nismo. So let's do it. All right, so now that we got the grinder, we got the glasses. Let's get it done, son. Oh no! Tommy shooting flames. That's a Tommy, bro. All right, so all right, pimp OG glasses aren't working. Right now. Pretty cool. Alright, so Mechanic Dave's marking up the rear diffuser. It's probably gonna go somewhere in here depending on how the brake light bracket stuff goes. And then we may move those, may leave them there. Really just depends, but it looks pretty good. Dude, I don't know. I'm thinking about I might I might lower the diffuser and make the brake light higher than the diffuser, and I'll make the diffuser lower than the brake light. Make it go. Yeah, I might do. What if I made a mount right here, like a U-mount? You know, the bolted on from the top, and the brake light was like right there. It was. <laughs> Just like that, <laughs> real carbon fiber. So we're gonna give the 370 a start for our special guest over here.
I'm OG, y'all new to the game.